The next topic we're going to discuss on Boxing Bros is Joseph Parker says Jang hits harder than Deontay Wilder. So if you remember, so much has been made of Deontay Wilder, labeled as the hardest puncher in boxing history. I've debated this several times with my late brother, G, and Complex, telling them that it was the opponents that build his knockout ratio and that when you up the levels, he was going to find it harder to knock out other championship caliber fighters who showed up to win and actually believed in themselves and didn't just show up to collect a paycheck. Well, so far, that prediction is holding true as he lost to Joseph Parker, couldn't knock out Tyson Fury, and now he's stepping in the ring with Big Bang Jang. Uh, Jang. So uh, here is an article from seconds out from their interview with joseph parker uh i won't show you their interview because seconds out claims every video if you show uh there if you show a clip so here's what he said uh and here's the quote when uh they asked who hits harder and well i'll start from right here he says as for who hits harder the 32 year old gives that honor to the heavyweight from china although admits Wilder may not have landed flush enough to tell. He said, I would say Zhang hit harder because he dropped me twice and landed the cleaner shots. Wilder did hit hard, but never really clean. I was lucky my hands was up to catch his punches. Wilder and Zhang battled it out on June 1st in Riyadh, Saudi Arabia. So here's the thing. We're not going to get into our predictions just yet because we are going to predict the five for five card later, the five V five card. We will give our predictions for that. But what we're going to talk about is Joseph Parker stating that Zhang actually punches harder than Deontay Wilder. Dollar Bill, your reaction to that? Um, I'm flirting with the idea of making Joseph Parker the number three heavyweight. You know, <laughs> yeah, that's like how my list was looking. It was looking like Usyk, AJ, Parker, Fury, and then, you know, Zane, like don't but that's what i was i was flirting with that <laughs> idea of making joseph parker because he's you know made a little bit of a uh, resurgence in, in his career you know what i'm saying he came back um and he can talk that talk because he's winning there and he had two big impressive wins you know and that was against uh wilder and zane they counted joseph parker out you know what i'm saying but he came back strong let people know he's got a lot more boxing left so I'm flirting with the idea of making him my third. But um yeah, listen, I go back and do me a favor. If you are new to this channel and you haven't had the pleasure of watching my brother Caden's uh audits on Deontay Wilder, I advise you to go back and check that out. And then when you check that out, come back to the comment section and then be like, yo, Trill, GLO for telling me to go back and check that out because that's classic. That's classy boxing bros right there. And then you'll understand why I feel the way I feel about Deontay Wilder and his punching power and lack thereof. Um, so, so uh, I I gotta agree with Joseph Parker. I gotta agree with Joseph Parker because you know he's been there with both guys, and I know he knows what he's talking about. And he got like the third best uh, resume in the heavyweight division. So that's why I'm flirting with him being my third heavyweight. So shout out to Joseph Parker. And listen, I gotta take his word for it. Now you're right, Joseph Parker former heavyweight champion of the world, victory over Andy Ruiz. Now, a lot of people felt like he probably didn't deserve that win. We're talking about another hometown fight, right? But again, he got it. He got the victory. Was a close fight. Uh, went on to lose to Dillian White, but again, another close fight. Uh, he had some underwhelming performances, but again, he went on to beat Derek Chisora, Zhang, Jang, and... Deontay Wilder, those are great wins on the resume, right? Now, I can hear some people now saying, oh, Fury softened up Wilder for Parker. Well, not like Parker knocked him out. He outboxed the Deontay Wilder, the guy who has no skill, the one-trick pony we always said was a one-trick pony. But the point is, these two guys who are going to be in the ring both lost to Joseph Parker. 
So you got to give Joseph Parker his props and his respect, at least enough for him to tell you who hits harder. Now he's saying, and I, I, I've, I've said this before, when people say who hits harder, I've always said this, whoever hits you flush hits harder because that's who you're going to be like hits harder. Jane was the one who dropped him twice. But this is very important in terms of, in terms of predicting and thinking about in the future. Joseph Parker was able to elude and catch every punch that Deontay Wilder threw. You heard what he said. You saw it. Not for Jane. And Jane was able to hit the elusive Joker, Joseph Parker flush enough to drop him twice. Not only was Jane good enough to do it, but the super slow Joe Joyce was able to do it. And Deontay Wilder couldn't do it. So, one, there's a huge skill gap there. But also, I just think Jang hits harder. I think Deontay Wilder's power has, power has been overrated. Uh, I've stated that several times. We are going to see him fight Jang, uh, and we'll discuss his chances and who we think are, will win that fight. But it doesn't shock me that someone who's been in the ring with Jang says that – Jane hits harder than Wilder. And everyone who's brought up how Wilder dropped Fury as a way to legitimize his power, so did uh so did uh Francis Ngannou. You saw uh Usyk had Usyk dropped him. The ropes held him up, so Usyk dropped him. SS Cunningham. SS Cunningham and you know, so let's not act like dropping Fury is an indicator of how great your power is. Like when Francis Ngannou said to Anthony Joshua, I knew no matter what, uh, you know, they say he dropped Fury. Anthony Joshua was like, who hasn't dropped Fury? <laughs> <laughs> like, so again, I'm just saying, while this power is still in question to me, it can go a long way, this fight, in him proving that he's actually a power puncher. So we'll see. Let us know how you feel in the comment section. Please like and subscribe. Check us out on Instagram and Twitter. And please check out our podcast on all major streaming services. I'm the Commissioner Trill Dollar Bill. That's my brother Caden. It's LLG for life. You the boxing bro.